hope you guys can hear me better the wind is real bad so we're done with that part she showed us a few cars that they used back then now we are sloping to the torture chambers idiom means torture chambers because apparently for the time he was a president he took over this palace and he was able to put some property here like the torture chambers that's what we are going to check out right now The place had a big metallic gate, it has five cells, and each of the cells had a metallic sliding door. It had water inside down there, and the water was electrified. So the people could be go from the city center, the parks in cables. They would go around the city several times until they could become inside, when they couldn't understand where they were. Then after, this is when they're being brought over here. As they're brought here, they're first packed into the cells, being that the cells are small, no ventilation, so they could die of suffocation from inside there. And then others died of anger, being that these people are being starved, they weren't given anything to eat. So chances of survival were very minimal. Then we have the Idi Amin torture chambers, and that is the famous, uh, famous part about this palace. That when this palace was made a military barracks by the late uh, Milton Obote in 1966. Later on, when he was overthrown in 1971, Idi Amin contracted the people from Israel who established for him an armory or the store of weapons. But unfortunately, he used it for about four to eight months as an armory. And then later, he turned it into a torture chamber and he used it between a space of 1973 to 1979, killing about 25,000 people. And then Milton Obote came back as Obote II, used it between 1981 to 1985, and killed about 6,000 people. So an estimated number of 25,000 people is what he said to have been killed inside this palace and it's one of the reasons as to why the current king does not live inside this palace. Uh, that armory or the torture chamber was electrified, it had a sliding door and then they would power water and then when these people would be arrested they would be brought then pushed into the water, they switch on the electricity after switching on the electricity, they torture these people to get the information and even if you knew nothing, you could not survive. So it's only those that were not arrested that could survive, but those that couldn't, that could be arrested and brought into this area, all of them would die. Nobody survived and that is the idiom means torture chambers.